Watch The Narcissist in Action, Humiliation, Part 1. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. I am creating the Watch The Narcissist in Action series to help you understand more about the dynamic of narcissism, watching how the narcissist behaves, hearing what is said, so that you can learn more about the dynamic, the various manipulations, and also to fine-tune your understanding of the different subschools of narcissist, therefore enabling you to become better at spotting them in your day-to-day -day activities. We've had an extensive analysis of a romantic dynamic that took place between Mike and Rose. We witnessed a tirade in the car, arguments in the bedroom, hoovering through text, and then, of course, the variance of his Hoover's post-escape through voicemail messages that were left. We witnessed the meltdown of a mother, where she dealt with both intimate partner primary source, her husband, and a child. We've also examined the rage attack of an older mother towards her adult son, again providing you with insight amongst others as to the various dynamics. And we're touching on a familial dynamic, again showing a different subschool of narcissist and the way that he conducts himself. It's a comparatively short clip, so I'm not going to necessarily go through every item in it, but rather summarise what it is that's going on and what all of this means. The background is that a young boy, somewhere in the age region of 9 to 11, has got into trouble for stealing. And therefore, his father decides that it's appropriate that he be taught a lesson to prevent him from stealing. Well, you might think, well, hang on a second. That doesn't sound like the behaviour of a narcissist HG to teach a child right from wrong and to punish them where they have behaved in an inappropriate fashion. Well, of course, certain narcissists will recognise that certain behaviours are deemed appropriate. But also, of course, remember that the theft may well have been from the narcissist himself which amounts to a threat to his control over the non-intimate secondary source child and therefore necessitates him responding in order to bring that child under control. You're going to see the piece of footage whereby the father implements control over the child or seeks to do so by offering him a choice. There are other people around there are other children who I would assume are those are children of the father who live in the same household. The mother appears to be there, and a friend or possibly another family member is filming, maybe an uncle. So there is quite the crowd that witnesses what you're about to see. Let's have a look at the footage. We're live here, man. My typical son. Now, I want to beat his ass, but I ain't going to beat his ass. I got his Xbox. Which one would you like? You want to ask with it, or you want me to keep the sex box? The nigga was stealing candy. We set him up. Me and all the kids, we set him up. We caught him. Um, we put a nine later in the newspapers. Five minutes after we just got to talk to him about stealing. So then he goes, he takes the newspapers out like I asked him, but he also took the candy as well. Now, what do you want? You want the ass box? Or you want the ass box? Okay, he don't want to answer. Hold on just one second, big dog. Hold on just one second. Just pause right there. Back up the way, please. Y'all back this way. Now, um, what do you... Come here. Come here. Get your ass over here. I feel hot. Goddamn thieving ass motherfucker. Keep on crying all that black on. Now, what do you want? Do you want this Xbox or you want this ass whooping? Which one you want? Keep the Xbox. You want to keep the Xbox? That's the good answer. I'm going to give you the Xbox right now. Oh, no. Okay. Bye. He's gonna give him it broken. Tracy, up, Tracy. Up. He's gonna give him it broken. Oh! Hey, it's how I get down. He wanted the Xbox, cause that's easy. Stop, 
Nej. 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 This has been another motherfucking broadcast brought to you by your boy Shogo. They don't probably gonna say I'm mean as fuck, but look, I can't go to Jeff and tell some shit I bought. There you are. Now, the first and fundamental point to convey about this is that this little boy's humiliation is being placed on the internet. This video was actually placed under the heading of good parenting. Therefore, the narcissist father believes that what he's doing is entirely appropriate and this passes as good parenting. Furthermore, the fact is that this boy's humiliation has been placed on the internet for conceivably thousands, if not millions of people to witness. The video, I think, had tens of thousands of views. In the circumstances, many people have witnessed what has happened to him, and the fact of putting the disciplining of a child on social media shows a lack of boundary recognition, parental abrogation of responsibilities and duties, which is thus a lack of accountability, and an absence of emotional empathy. Indeed, there is a twisted moral compass here, whereby the narcissist is suggesting, you have done something wrong, I'm therefore going to teach you a lesson. Now, that of itself may well be appropriate, but the method of teaching that child and the broadcasting of the same would seem to be excessive. It is one thing to discipline a child behind closed doors, perhaps taking away a privilege, in some instances where it's still lawful, administering some form of corporal punishment sitting the child down and telling them about the error of their ways, getting their buy-in to behave more appropriately, telling them that they're grounded, etc. But, ordinarily, this would be done behind closed doors, that a spectacle wouldn't be made of the humiliation of the child. Treating the child in this manner by publicising it, in effect, recording, and as you'll note right at the end the father refers to it as being this is another motherfucking broadcast, shows that he has no problem whatsoever in turning the humiliation of his son into entertainment. The father explains that basically there's a choice for the child. He can have an ass-whooping or he gets his Xbox and invites him to choose. There is a threat. You can either keep the Xbox and I'm going to use this belt on you or... If you want to avoid that beating, you're going to lose your Xbox. The son remains silent. He's driven into silence as a consequence of this invidious choice. Given the fact that this silence amounts to a threat to control, the narcissist then decides to escalate matters. So he essentially says, hang on, and stops the filming and moves matters outside. He therefore moves from threat to actual action. Notice that the execution of the threat happens rather quickly, which is a useful indicator for you as to what sub-school of narcissist you're witnessing here. He explains when he's outside to the child, get your thieving-ass motherfucker-ass over here. Verbal violence. He has, sees nothing wrong with swearing at the child or in front of the other children. There are other children there, presumably his wife or partner, and the gentleman that is filming. There is no facade being generated here. He then invites the child to make a choice, and the child says he wants to keep the Xbox. He's then told that's the right answer. You'll note that one of the other children who already has anticipated what is going to happen, namely he's going to be able to keep a broken Xbox. So in a sense, the narcissist has shifted the terms of the deal 
because he said to the child, you can take a beating and keep your Xbox, or avoid the beating and lose your Xbox. What he's actually doing here is saying, sure, you can keep your Xbox, but I'm going to break it nevertheless. The narcissist conditional asterisk at work straight away. The fact also that one of the children anticipates that this is going to happen suggests that this kind of punishment is not a one-off. He then reverses over the child's Xbox, smashing it beyond repair. The destruction of property, demonstrating an ignition of heated fury. Immediately, the child cries. You'll note that another child announces, that was awesome. Emotional empathy does appear to be in short shrift in this household. The child goes inside and the cameraman follows him. His sister follows him and then basically riles him, announcing again that that was awesome. He, understandably so, pushes his sister away. The cameraman sort of intervenes and then the father returns. The child is noticeably upset. There is no comfort offered to him by the father or indeed anybody in this household. The mother just seems to stand idly by, almost finding the whole thing amusing. The father announces that he's to quit lying and stealing, and also asks whether it's still live. The cameraman confirms that it is. He basically states to the camera, I'm not beating the child because I'm not going to go to prison. And that's why he didn't go down that route, but that he's taught him a lesson. There's no remorse whatsoever from the father. He's entirely convinced that what he's done is appropriate to teach the boy a lesson. The boy is audibly and visibly upset, but is offered no comfort. He still is made a spectacle of and is humiliated by his father. All the father can do is ask, is this still recording? And then turn to the camera and announce this has been another motherfucking broadcast whereby he deems it entirely appropriate that his son's misery is utilised for consumption by the masses. Here, you see the ignited fury of the father, albeit he keeps a control on it for the most part. There's the utilisation of threat, but then the execution of the threat shortly thereafter. The destruction of property, the absence of a facade. There is the humiliation of the child by putting his unfortunate circumstances notwithstanding the fact that he has apparently been thieving that his punishment is being broadcast being recorded and then broadcast to whoever happens to want to know see it he's not comforted the response towards him is aggressive interestingly many of the comments to the video take issue with the father's behavior and also point out that they may well be storing up a particular response from this child as he gets older. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section with regard to seeing this particular narcissist in action and where your mind might be going with regard to the sub-school. Furthermore, you're going to see this gentleman in action again fairly shortly, so join me there. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for watching.